Welcome to another episode of Real Estate Investing Explained. Here's today's question. How did you structure those deals with outside investors? What did the terms look like? What is the structure of those deals? Yeah, so it was a straight equity split at that time. Kept it very simple and straightforward, and it did vary upon each portfolio. But majority of the time, it would be either an 80-20 split, 80 percent of the equity going to the investor partners and then the 20 percent going to the general partner or the let's say the the company for putting the deal together both my partner and I and that is of the the net income that comes out that gets to the investors and then to the company and then out of the proceeds when the properties are sold that's how it's split to out of the net 80 20. some other ones would be 70 30 other ones would be 85 15 but just straight and returns between 9 to 11%. And some would be about 12 to 14%. It really just varied on that too. And your investors were okay with those return? That was just on the cash on cash alone. They were looking at about, I don't want to throw out too, too many statistics, but they would look to double their money in essence, including the cash flow, as well as the sell of the property in a five to six year period. I think the breakdown of the equity is really interesting as well because I mean you're doing a lot of the work and you're not getting the majority of the equity and I think a lot of people that are specifically new into real estate I don't think they would do those deals because they're like oh I'm doing all the work and I'm only going to get 15 or 20% of this deal but I think the way you went about it is absolutely right I mean having a small percentage of all of these deals adds up to 100% time over time over time and I mean, it compounds. Exactly. Yeah. And I think, I think it's Mark Cuban who says it on Shark Tank all the time, having a small percentage of a watermelon is a lot bigger than uh, having a whole percentage of a grape or something like that. I think that's definitely, definitely interesting and something that people should take into consideration when they're putting deals together. That's all for this episode of Real Estate Investing Explained. Be sure to follow me on Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook, or subscribe to our YouTube channel to get even more free content.